Hello friends, I am Sayyukta Saxena back again with another Zentangle original pattern called Way Bob. I had posted a teaser for the pattern on my Facebook page Sayyukta Zentangle in case you had a chance to have a look. So I am a certified Zentangle teacher and today we will be learning how to draw the pattern Way Bob, another Zentangle original. A very simple pattern to draw, mainly curved lines, looks like rings. Uh, you know intermingled rings together so let's have a look so waybob is a pattern which draws with uh, which starts with some seed shapes or eye shapes i'm going to draw a circle here just for the sake of reference you can do away with it if you wish to right and then i'm going to draw these rice shapes or seed shapes right what is important to note here is I'm going to add an even number of these shapes so starting with 4 6 8 10 like that so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so this was the first step now I'm going to connect two of these in pairs from below the second step then I'm going to connect these two which are not connected with each other from below from above this is the third step right then I'm going to add some auras. So first, fourth step is to add an aura from outside to all these shapes. One, two, three, and four. Right, so we added an aura from the outside. Now I'm going to add an aura from the inside. One, two, three, and four. Right, once we have done that, now we will connect these two which are not connected with each other. So I'm going to add shapes like these like a triangular shape right again shape like this right again shape like this a triangular shape and the last one right like this and the final step is to connect these also from the inside so that they look like rings right so that's the pattern way bob now each of these sections provide you areas to play around with you have tangles that you can fill in these sections with and including the center section right you can also play with the shapes here i'm going to show you a few tiles that i've drawn in order to show you how we can play around so this is a tile where instead of the round shape all shapes are conical right so i have not used this shape all of the shapes are like cones so this is again way bob i have followed the same sequence of steps then this is another tile where i have changed the shape to a leaf kind of shape the rest of the shapes are the same there's some umbel outside and then added patterns inside right then this is a highly embellished version of uh, the pattern way bob so you can see here touch of flux some fescues moon pies right so this is also the pattern way bob and a fourth one simple one just to show you how you can play around with this shape also right it's not necessary that you write uh, draw a rice shape you can change this shape and uh, just uh, experiment and see explore how the shape of the wave bob changes due to changing the shape right so this is just an example to show so just to remind you once again 
we followed some four to five steps so what i did was i started with even number of rice shapes three four five and six right the second step was connecting these two right shapes two in I mean in pairs of two then connecting those which are not connected from below from the above step three step four was adding an aura outside like this adding an aura outside like this step five was adding an aura inside like this right step six was adding these conical shapes to complete these rings like this right and finally this last step was connecting these rings from the inside right so this is the pattern we bob in this one i have used six right shapes this one had eight right so let us draw a tile today using the pattern we bob so what i am going to do today is just use a portion of my tile for the pattern so assuming that this is the circle the center circle around which i am going to draw the rice shapes right so i am going to start with the rice shapes here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so it's a big wave of of which this is just a part again following the same steps connecting two from below right next step connecting these two from above right the next step is to aura so i am adding an aura from the outside like this again adding an aura from the outside again adding an aura the next step is to add an aura inside right so going to add an aura like this keep rotating your tile so that your hand is comfortable the movement is smooth so adding another aura right and the third one right and the fourth step is to connect these like this right again connect these like this this is where you can play around with the shapes also right so need not necessarily be a conical shape as i showed you i drew a leaf kind of shape gave a little curve and the final step is to join these right so that's your way bob a part of the way bob right so now i'm going to separate the inside add some big crescent moons right fill it in so you have already learned crescent moon in our first or second session i hope you have seen the videos so i am going to ink them all right and then start adding the auras right so done with the inking and now starting to aura 
adding auras to my crescent moon one at a time and then continuing the process If you want you can add some more moons right so you can see here I have completed all the uh, auras filled up the entire section with auras right so what I am going to do next is again add an aura outside to separate my wave bob from the rest of the tile because I want it to stand out and not mix with the rest of my tile right so adding another layer of aura just in case I feel like adding something inside I shall do that right so inside this waybob again I told you each of these sections give you opportunity to play around with. So what I am going to do here is add a line in between and draw some double lines like this. Right. I'm going to keep it simple but not empty right so just added some double lines on one side and I'm going to replicate it on the other side also like this right I'll do the same here also again I'm going to draw some double lines right like this and then extend it to the other side pretty simple pure line based generally if you ink it alternatively the pattern is called brace but I am not going to be inking them here, right? And the same exercise in the third one also. So adding these double lines inside my way bob. As I told you, each of these sections provide you ample opportunities to play around with by now we know so many patterns just explore I showed you a couple of tiles right so that's simple and if you want we can use the pattern floors a simple pattern inside here right so just drew a square grid and now adding some diamonds right small ones throughout the intersections so we are working pretty small here so go slow adding those diamond kind of shapes it's okay if you add some circles you can create a tangulation right so I'll do the same thing here also in my way bob right again diamond shapes
So you can see here I have done the same exercise in all the sections, right? So it would be a good idea I think to ink these rice shapes. There are not too many bold inked portions yet. So I think I would like to ink these rice shapes or seed shapes, whatever you may call them. So I am switching pens here pretty frequently using my pen right now. So don't hesitate to switch your pens when you have to ink some portions. So these rice shapes also as I explained to you provide you opportunity to play around with instead of inking you can fill it up with some pattern or you can change the basic shape and see how your way bob turns out to be right so the teaser if you have seen that I posted on my Facebook page has these rice shapes replaced with a heart shape so the look of the way bob varies when you replace these basic rice shapes with some other shapes right so try it out explore so rest of the tile it is up to you again what do you want to do with it so I am taking my inspiration from the latest project pack released by Zentangle headquarters right and I am going to fill it up with what I feel like as a variation of the pattern flux I'm adding these orbs inside the double aura that I had given kind of separates my way bob from the rest of the tile you may may not add this at times it looks very nice one tangle flowing into the other giving a morphed look right so I have separated my way bob and now I am going to use my pen and just draw these droplet kind of shapes and add two or three layers of aura just like flux instead of a line and few dots there are there is a bold droplet kind of shape inside right so really easy to draw and great flow I am adding three auras each right so just drawing randomly not thinking much where what is sticking to the basic shape right so I really like the flow of this you don't really need to lift your hands and just right so I'm going to continue doing this and fill up the entire space with these flux like shapes petals right I'm drawing behind here would be drawing behind a lot Right. 
so you can see here I'm almost done with filling up all these spaces with the same plus flux like shapes and left with few I'm going to draw behind in some of these wherever I find spaces pretty small spaces so So if you wish you can just simply color it up, totally up to you. I am going to minimize the space that is colored, ringed, right. So inking some of the leftover portions. Right, so you can add one or two curves here and then in the rest, few hidden ones, right. So I think we are done. Most small little spaces that you see here and there just ink it right so let us now move on to shading our tile so I'm going to pick up my pencil and the blending stump and start with my moons so adding some at the intersections right so going to blend it Just make sure your moon have dried up and the ink is not still wet. Right, that's the moon and then I'm going to make one of the section dark adding some thick graphite on the divider on one side right will shade my floors as a whole since the squares are pretty small just putting some graphite at the edges right so going to smudge it now so going to make one of the portions darker and highlight the other portion right just a soft touch on the floors make sure you don't turn the entire section gray just a soft touch without touching the center right and then pretty simple the flux shapes places from where lines are emanating you can also shade one side you know spread 
refine it more on one side and then highlight the other so adding some graphite at the beginning from where they are starting and then on one side right so we can now start blending i think so i'm going to smudge take the graphite to one side like this right again it is up to you how do you want to shade there are no hard and fast rules whatever you like please go ahead try explore so blending the graphite taking it to one of the sides so you can immediately make out how shading adds dimension depth to your tile right pretty visible as shades of gray creep in yeah right i'm now going to pick up my white charcoal the final touches highlight the other section of my weaver one of the sections of my weaver right so that looks like a fold here right i light the center right highlight on these lines the crescent moon the center where we have not put any graphite right and then the other side of our flux like shapes i almost find it like flux only so that comes to me again and again so i'm highlighting the other side where i did not add any graphite right adding some contrast you may may not do this exercise right it's okay even if you don't it's already white just that the charcoal highlights it a little more right I think we are done with it. Right? So that's our tile and that's the pattern we bob.
just used a section of the complete pattern I've already shown you how to draw the pattern I'm now going to initial my tile right and sign and date it so this is the last session of this year we'll meet again next year stay safe have a good time. Have a very happy and prosperous new year. Bye-bye. Thank you.